Um, at PSI, I integrate the spirituality and healing not as a psychotherapist. Um, I'm not a psychotherapist, but I work as an educator and through psychospiritual, psychoeducational um, realms out in community outreach programs um, using the creative arts as a tool. Um, we talked about language, Gary talked about the power of language, and um, to me the art is another form of language that can help people not only access the spiritual realms, I really feel that art has been traditionally for many, many years across many spiritual pathways, um, way beyond, way before we even invented the realm of psychotherapy. Art was the tool for, uh, in many cultures, for spiritual healing and that it really does serve as that bridge um, or can serve as that bridge between the psychological, the spiritual, the social, the emotional um, dimensions of our lives. And I would include the physical. Um, the other piece of language I use is, is the hands, so that art really unites the hands, the heart, the mind, the spirit. And our hands are part of what makes us and our capacity to create with our hands and tell our story through materials, through color, through aesthetic, through the making and bringing into being of something that didn't exist before, the capacity to tell our story and access both our spiritual resources. And I was very touched by Ken's um, ability to really outline how to access those. Um, both, our, both our spiritual resources, but also our pain. I work with primarily with children and women. Um, as I said, I work in the Arab community with Muslim, groups of Muslim women. I've co-led a support group for about nine years with an Arabic-speaking psych psychotherapist um, and have learned a tremendous amount, not speaking Arabic, from these women about how to be in presence, um, how to be in, with pain, and how to be with resilience um, across language through nonverbal experience.